welcome to learning max whiteboard youtube channel so je uh, april today exam answer ki april 6th answer ki so look at the first question sum of roots of uh, modulus x square minus 8x plus 15 minus 2x plus 7 equal to 0 so we have to find the roots and we have to sum of it uh, and the final answer is uh, what so this is the question uh, so modulus of x square minus 8x plus 15 so the roots of this quadratic equation is x minus 3 and x minus 5 so we, we can factorize this so it's, it's not a roots uh, the factorize the quadratic equation above quadratic equation we have to use x minus 3 and x minus 5 okay so uh, look at the number line so this is 3 and this is 5 so in this this plus and this is plus in between 3 and 5 we have minus because you choose 3 so 3 minus i mean because you choose 4 4 minus 3 it's a positive value for but 4 minus 5 it's a negative value so in between 3 and 5 we have a negative value so less than 3 we have a positive and greater than 5 we have a positive also so the obviously the root is minus infinity comma 3 union 5 comma plus infinity so this is the root okay so x square minus 8x plus 15 minus 2x plus 7 equal to 0 so that is our question minus 2x plus 7 so uh, simply we we have to uh, we have to use modulus instead of modulus you have to take plus or minus so first i choose plus okay plus for plus this is my quadratic equation x square minus 8x plus 15 minus 2x plus 7 equal to 0 positive in the sense my roots lies between these two regions okay minus infinity comma 3 union phi comma infinity so positive in the sense my roots always lies between this interval okay okay so now i'm going to find the root so this is x square uh, minus 10x because minus 8x here minus 2x here we have to add so that is minus 10x 15 plus 7 that is 22 equal to 0 so x square minus 10x plus 22 equal to 0 if you find the uh, roots so using uh, a x square plus bx plus c this is a general form of a quadratic equation you sub substitute the formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a when you sub substitute all the things you will get the roots phi plus r minus root 3 so if we uh, if we uh, segregate phi plus root 3 and phi minus root 3 we have to split out 5 plus root 3 is lies between this interval but 5 minus 3 is not lies between this interval so 5 minus 3 is not our root 5 minus root 3 i'm sorry 5 minus root 3 is not our root and 5 plus root 3 only our root for this case for this case case 1 if we take plus so our root is 5 plus root 3 okay so remember that 5 plus root 3 for case 1 so now i'm going to uh, take case 2 so case 2 negative okay case 2 negative so if we take negative so minus of x square minus 8x plus 15 minus 2x plus 7 equal to 0 negative in this sense roots lies between 3 comma 5 root lies between 3 comma 5 okay okay so minus x square plus 8x minus 15 minus 2x My, you have to substitute i mean subtract um, multiple this minus into every term of this bracket plus 7 equal to 0 okay so minus x square plus 6x and minus 8 equal to 0 okay so i'm going to sub, sub i mean uh, multiple minus to every term of this quadratic equation so x square minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0 so the roots is uh, x minus 4 and x minus 2 so sub factorization so x equal to 4 and x equal to 2 
so here 2 is not a root because 2 is not lies between 3 and 5 so 4 is only lies between uh, 3 and 5 so here case 2 uh, our root is 4 case 1 our root is 5 plus root 3 so we have to add because the question is sum of roots so 5 plus root 3 plus 4 so 5 plus 4 9 plus root 3 so 9 plus root 3 is the answer so where is 9 plus root 3 so the option is third one so third one is a 9 plus root 3 so 9 plus root 3 third is a correct answer okay so if we have to split case 1 and split into case 1 and case 2 so case 1 for plus and case 2 for negative okay next question so look at the next question 2n 2n c3 n c3 which is equal to 10 ratio 1 and then we have to find first we have to find what is n so n is what and then substitute n to this actually this is divide okay actually this is divide okay so not a multiple that is a divide okay find n square plus 3 n divided by n square minus 3 n plus 4 okay so we all know uh, n c r okay n c r so n c r in the sense n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial so we have to use here and as well as here okay so 2 n c 3 so that is 2 n factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2n minus 3 factorial so ratio in the sense this is divide so divide so when we have a two number divide so here 5 by 3 so i am using one example here integer example so 4 by 3 th this divide becomes multiple and 5 by 3 becomes reciprocal 3 by 5 so i am going to use this idea to here so int next 3 factorial into n minus 3 factorial divided by n factorial this this answer this answer comes in the reciprocal type okay so 3 factorial 3 factorial cancel each other and n factorial n factorial cancel each other oh wait 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 okay wait 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 uh, wait 2 n factorial i can write 2 n 2n minus 1, 2n minus 2 into 2n minus 3 factorial because I am having a denominator 2n minus 3. So that is why I change my numerator into like this 2n into 2n minus 1, 2n minus 1, 2n minus 3 factorial. So 2n minus 3, 2n minus 3 cancel each other and same for here also n minus 3 factorial, n minus 3 n minus 2 okay wait 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 i had an idea so uh, 2n 2n minus 1 2n minus 2 2n minus 3 and 2n minus 3 factorial will cancel each other and here we have uh, 3 3 will cancel each other so uh, we can write this n factorial we can write this n factorial into like this n factorial in n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into so we have n minus 3 factorial so n minus 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial will cancel each other okay so i'm going to zoom out it so 2n into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 divided by n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 ok so here this term i can change into 2 of n minus 1 so here we have n minus 1 here we have n minus 1 so n n cancel each other so 2 into 2 4 4 2 into n minus 1 divided by n minus 2 ok 4 2 n minus 1 divided by n minus 2 so this is equal to 4 into 2 n minus 1 divided by n minus 2 ratio of 10 divided by 1 ratio of 10 1 so 
10 divided by 1. So we have to cross multiply cross multiple. So 8 and minus 4 which is equal to 10 and minus 20. So uh, 10 n minus 20. So 2 n equal to 16. If you solve this, if you simplify this, we will get 2 n equal to 16. n equal to 8. So finally we found n is 8. So n 8 you have to substitute in the question. So this is the question n square plus 3 n divided by n square minus 3 n plus 4. So actually you got 64 plus 24 divided by 44. So 88 divided by 44. So 1 times 2 times. So the answer is 2. So for this answer is 2. Okay. Next question. So find the sum of the series. So sum of the series 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 29 plus etc. 20 times. So we need to find the 20 times. So 5 plus 11 plus actually the difference of the terms. So T2 minus T1 which is not equal to T3 minus T2. So difference is obviously not same which is a different one. Okay. So solution look at the solution Sn equal to 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 29 plus etc. The last term Tn. So I am going to choose another Sn. So 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus etc. plus Tn minus 1 plus Tn. So we need to sub subtract these two. So Sn minus Sn 0. So fifth term same. Fix fifth term same. I mean fix 5 as a same. Plus, so if we need to subtract this, subtract, 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 subtract. So 11 minus 5, 6. 19 minus 11, 8. Plus 10, plus etc. Plus we have n minus 1 terms. n minus 1 terms. Okay. So look at this. 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus etc. Plus n minus 1. So difference is 2. And also, it, 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 it's like a, a arithmetic progression. It's like a arithmetic progression. Okay. So, here we have a minus Tn. Minus Tn. Because here minus Tn. So, minus Tn goes to this side. Minus Tn goes to this side. It will positive Tn. 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus. Wait, wait, wait. 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus etc plus n minus 1 terms ok so tn 5 plus so n minus 1 we all know that n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d so n replaced by n minus 1 divided by 2 2 times a so 2 times a that is 12 so n minus 1 so here we have n minus 1 then formula we have minus 1 so that is n minus 2 into d. So, d is 2 because term 2 minus term 1. Okay. So, tn which is equal to 5 plus n minus 1. So, 2 for 6, 2 and these two will cancel each other. So, n minus 1, 6 minus 2 plus n. Okay. So, 5 n minus 1 4 plus n ok n minus 1 4 plus n if you sub I mean if you simplify this you will get t n which is equal to n square plus 3 n plus 1 ok so this is t n so we need to find sum of n equal to 1 to 20 times sum of we need to find the sum of n times that is 20 times so we all know that how to solve this n equal to 1 to 20 tn so this is n square in the sense the formula is n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 divided by 6 plus 3 n equal to 20 we need to substitute n equal to 20 remember that and this is 3 n summation of n which is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 
plus summation of 1 that is n okay so if we take lcm and uh, put n equal to 20 you will get uh, 3520 3520 is your answer 3520 is your answer okay the next question so next question is a very easy question so we have a formula so this is a uh, definite integral 0 to pi by 2 sin mx cos nx into dx so sin mx into cos nx so i'm going to re arrange this question i mean rewrite this question so pi by 2 sin 7x cos 5x into dx so the formula is m minus 1 m minus 3 so we need to so look at m, m and n are not a even number, not a even number, then only we know, we have, we, we, we use this formula, we can able to use this formula, m and n are not a even number, not a even integer, if both m and n are not a even integer, then we can able to use this formula, this formula, okay, so m minus 1, so obviously m is minus, m is 7, m 7 and n 5 so 7 minus 1 6 4 2 so if you get a final answer 2 then stop next go for n so n minus 1 4 into 2 so if you get a 2 stop and divided by m plus n this time m plus n 7 plus 5 12 in 12 into minus 2 i mean 10 into 8 into 6 into 4 into okay so 2 2 4 4 6 6 4 2 are 8 so 1 divided by 12 times 10 that is 120 so the answer is 1 over 120 so this is the answer 1 by 120 okay so this is the uh, je question so these questions are very easy uh, I, I know you all uh, did very well in 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 this day exam okay guys thank you for watching this video